Hello Pisces, thank you for being here. Happy February. This is a general reading for anyone with prominent Piscean placement in your chart. There will be an extension of this reading and the link is down below. Or if you are interested in a personal reading or any of my Oracle decks, the link to my Etsy shop is also down below. Okay, so for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome, thank you for being here. I usually start out with messages from Spirit, channeled messages. And what I have for you, Pisces, feels like a little bit of a continuation. For those of you who have been on my channel and uh, resonate with this, um, there's a little bit of a different twist. But what I'm get getting from Spirit is that there's a new chapter in your life beginning. Um, I got starting, starting again slash over. So uh, for some of you, there is a fresh start. I got the vision of a flower blooming, petals literally you know, opening up, and I feel like this is indicative of um, you know, um, something, something blossoming in your life perhaps. Maybe this is about love on your path. This is really also about um, maybe um, an opening, if you will, opening to new experience. Spirit said you are much wiser. There's been some karmic relationships, karmic lessons for you, and I feel like this is a period of uh, renewal. I'm kind of getting that, that things are changing for you. There's going to be a turn of events. So very interesting. Let's see where we go with this, Pisces. Let's take a look at your path in the month of February. What do you have for Pisces, Spirit? What do you have for Pisces for February 2021? What do you have? Anything else? <laughs> okay, that one's wanting to come out. What is that? Self-care. Okay. Spirit said do it one more time. Okay. Something wants to come out. Ah, okay. Bottom of the deck, challenge ahead. Okay, there's quite a few of these. I want, I'm not going to read all the descriptions, but I do believe this tells a story. Okay, intuition. Trust what you're feeling, um, Pisces. I feel like there is something that's come to light for you, something that maybe uh, you have been um, afraid to face. It could be that this is really just about understanding um, something that occurred in your life has happened for a reason, okay? We have catalyst presence, purge and cleanse. So I feel like there has been either a person or a situation that has um, somehow shifted you. You're supposed to trust what you're sensing, what you're feeling, um, because I think that it will help you begin again or start over. Look at this healer. So some of you um, are in a relationship that you will heal through. Sometimes I look at it that way, especially if this is something that has been a little bit, you know, karmic in nature, something that's been a little tough to get through. You come out a little um, better on the other side, let's say. Okay, so let's take a look at what needs to come through. What do you have for Pisces for February, Spirit? What do they need to know about what will occur in February? Anything else? A change in the wind. Something is shifting for you. Starting again. Starting over. <clears throat> okay. Wow. Okay, we have exchanging gifts, observer, regeneration, soulmates. 
Okay, so um, you might be you might be dealing with a situation that maybe didn't give what you put into it. Um, I'm getting that you were perhaps waiting for the right time, waiting for a sign or a signal or waiting for something to um, help you make a decision. Soulmates come in many forms, as we all know. People are in our lives for a season, a reason, a lifetime, maybe a lesson. Um, so this could be a situation with someone who was a really strong soulmate, perhaps karmic soulmate. Um, and you have really grown through this experience. The regeneration card is all about starting over, starting again, transformation. It's death and rebirth. There's that flower blooming, that unfolding that I, I was seeing. For some of you, as you move through a cycle with someone else perhaps that brings a soulmate on your path when when I shuffled these this landed on top of that which is why I'm telling the story this way so for some of you you are going to perhaps meet someone new okay let's take a look at what else you need to know I'm going to try to keep this a little shorter than I have been, just so you guys don't have to sit through 30 minutes of me talking. <laughs> Let's see what else is on your path in February, Pisces. Anything else? What else does Pisces need to know? Whoa. Okay, I'm going to take the first one. I'm going to put these back. It's too many. Let's put them in the deck and give them one more shot. Anything else? One at a time. Okay. Discovery. Discovery. Learning something. Paying attention to something. We do have observer here and sometimes that is... Um, to me that is waiting, watching, and assessing. <clears throat> Okay, you have two cards that Aquarius got. So some of you may be on the cusp. Some of you may be connected to an Aquarian. Okay, we have decrease. Pulling back your energy. This is also something winding down. Playing it safe. Taking steps. The loving woman. Wow, okay. Um... I feel like this is a loving and compassionate energy. If this isn't your energy, this is someone perhaps um, you're connected to. What I'm getting from this is that there's, there's something that perhaps, um, I'm gonna speak as though this is you, okay? Reverse it if it makes sense. There's something you've been involved in um, that maybe has been familiar to you and now I feel like um, you are really on your way to something else, something perhaps more loving to self. It could be another relationship. It could be that you are um, opening up your heart to new love, could be. Okay, let's take a look at your energy. Show us Pisces energy in the month of February, Spirit. Strongest energy around Pisces, please, in February. Anything else? Okay. <laughs> One more time. All right. There was something in there. A couple. Okay. Bottom of the deck, third eye chakra. Yeah. Intuition. You're trusting you're trusting yourself in a situation. And I, I think that Pisces is a very intuitive sign anyway. Um, I, if, if this is a chakra, okay, this is a chakra card. So I'm not gonna reverse this or uh, question it. Wow, my goodness. Okay, we have intuition, high priestess energy, deep inner knowing, deep inner knowing. Look at this, we have the ace of swords. You know your truth. We have sacral and solar plexus chakra. Now, 
to me, I feel like you are moving through fear. You know your truth. You're going to trust your gut in a situation. That's what that tells me. You are, um, you are strongly intuitive and this could be in a, a love situation or this could just be you paying attention to the things that um, are meaningful to you. Maybe a relationship has pushed you in a new direction. I was getting a lot of karmic energy during meditation, so um, it could be, but I think you, you're clear. You're clear. Okay, so let's take a look at, um, I'm actually gonna move these over, make some room. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Let's take a look at how things will unfold for you in February. Mm, the cards are being unruly. All right, Spirit, what else can you tell Pisces about the events in February? What can they expect? What do they need to know, please? Anything else? Whoa. <laughs> God, they're flying. Meeting someone new. Now, like I said earlier, for some of you, an ending of something opens up your heart to someone new. I like that. Missing you. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at what flew out. Okay. My gosh. I'm just going to lay them all out and tell the story. We'll see what we get. <clears throat> All right, we have inadequate, rejection, regret, fixing what's broken, embrace change. You left quite an impression. That can be good or bad attached, loyalty, making plans. Okay, I'm not going to clarify these individually. Um, let's say that for some of you, you are deciding that a situation you've been in won't work. It won't work. For others of you, you're deciding that um, a situation with you and another person has to change. I feel like there is, um, there's love there, there's feelings there. It could be that you have been connected to someone who pushed you in a new direction. This fixing what is broken, if it's not uh, between you and another person, this could be about patterns. This could be the things that haven't, uh, things that haven't served you well, things that didn't give back. So maybe you're looking at a situation, a person in a new light. Well, you know, I'm seeing something for what it is. It doesn't work for me. Ready to move on from that. So change is coming, right? Embracing change. For, for others of you, there's someone that you have wanted to come back together with. Someone you've been loyal to someone you want to see or make plans with, future plans perhaps. If this is really all about moving away from someone and, and kind of starting again, you may have uh, stayed out of uh, loyalty or even an unhealthy attachment, if that's what that's speaking to. But perhaps now you are ready to move forward. Okay, so we'll see how this unfolds. It could be different for all of you, but let's take a look at your energy. We're going to take a look at Pisces first, and then we're going to look at your person. Show us Pisces energy, please, regarding this spread. Wow. Bottom of the deck. A lot of disappointments in the past. Look at that. Four of Cups. There's regret. 
um, apathy, maybe even maybe you've reached the point where you've um, you've been um, kind of in, stuck in that place in your head, stressed that you're ready to make change. Looking to the future, the Three of Wands, waiting. I, I'm I'm getting that you know perhaps you've been waiting for something to to um, change or shift. Maybe you've put your life on hold even, you know, staying loyal to a situation, but you're realizing, mm, maybe not. We have the Eight of Cups. An emotional transition, perhaps moving on, perhaps a journey. We have the Page of Wands, but I feel like this is um, sort of renewed interest in moving forward in whatever regard. So we're, we're going to just get a couple of clarifiers on your energy and then we will look at what you're moving toward. So let's take a look at the Nine of Swords. What has you stressed, Pisces? Wow. What did I say from meditation? You're much wiser. So what has been a little stressful for you? You've learned from it. You've learned from it. This could also be um, a concern about being alone. You know, if, if you've wanted to stay attached to a situation. Um, you know, I'm not saying that for all of you, but if this is someone you've been with for a long time, being alone could be a pretty big change. So let's get one more on the Nine of Swords and the Hermit. Overcoming. Six of Wands, wow. An ending, perhaps? Something painful for you. Let's take a look at the Three of Wands. You know intuitively that it's time to move on. Look at that, there's the Nine again. So I feel like this is a decision that you are needing to trust. You know, we have the High Priestess here as well. Intuition here, strong, strong sense that you know what you need to do. Yeah. You might be fearing this change, but it's time. What are you moving toward? Eight of Cups. What are you moving toward? Something that you're passionate about? Bottom of the deck, King of Pentacles. Hmm, let's keep going. Eight of Cups. What else? Eight of Cups, Knight of Wands. For some of you, this can be um, a focus on work. It can be also, um, you know, perhaps someone who represents that Knight of Wands energy, someone who's uh, fiery, passionate, exciting, maybe somebody you work with. This could be someone you want to build with. This can also be passion about your work. Let's see what else. One more. Ten of Wands reversed. Putting down a burden. I feel like this is you just kind of turning over a new leaf. I really do. This is about uh, what tomorrow holds. Let's look at the Page of Wands. There's a new endeavor you're getting ready to embark on. What is that about? Page of Wands. And something new. Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Sometimes this is, um, I, I'm, I'm getting perhaps, um, th this is just for, for maybe one or two of you. You don't wanna really commit to anything. Um, if that's what you were dealing with, could be. I mean, this sometimes this can be a little bit of a, um, you know, in and out energy, the Knight of Wands. You might be a little overwhelmed. Let's get one more. Page of Wands. Five of Swords in reverse. Wow. Well, um, it couldn't be, it can be peace, making peace. Um... giving up a fight. If you've been at an impasse with someone or in a situation, I feel like, you know, 
you're, you're not willing to put forth any effort into that, feeding that situation. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Queen of Cups. Hmm. I'm getting a story here. Give me a second. I feel like this is a focus on what satisfies you, what what makes you happy. Um, there's a renewal here with this Ace of Wands. I'm kind of getting that there's something you want to embrace, something that has long-term um, potential, or this can be a focus on your money, your foundation, your long-term stability, uh, long-term partnership. What else does Pisces need to know? about this situation please what else do they need to know for the month of february ah and there's the king of cups with the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck so there could be new love on the way could be uh your energy i i also feel like this is something perhaps that might be entering the picture that maybe you didn't see coming. There's, there's a new opportunity that presents itself, new love that presents itself. And maybe what it required you to do was, you know, to come out of this Four of Cups place. Seven of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and there's the Eight. So I, I feel like this is really about knowing what you want, knowing what you need to do intuitively, and it's almost as if, you know, once you do that, you have new love waiting for you or a new opportunity that presents itself to you. Hmm, okay. Let's see here. Um, I wanna take a look at your experience. What have you been dealing with, Pisces? escapism needing to really look at things uh, clearly wow we have a lot that came out at once there can be piggyback cards so just know that um, I'll read them anyway insecurity strengthening communication and spending focused quality time will make you feel heard and valued keeping confidences when we are the recipient of raw truth that we hold sacred the result builds trust the past. Reflect and appreciate what you have experienced. If there's something keeping you stagnant, it may be time to release it. I feel like that's for the majority of those of you. Unwind. Your body's beckoning you to spend time in quiet relaxation. Remorse. Guilt and shame keep us stuck. If an apology is needed, give one or accept one. Second chances. Someone wants the opportunity to prove themselves. Now, <laughs> if this is um, if this is someone coming back, this could be a second chance. This could be a renewal of love. If there is a loyalty to someone you're attached to, um, but maybe you're not with, this could be an opportunity to come back together. You may be watching this person. They may be watching you. If this is your person having the guts to <laughs> come in and tell you, listen, can we, can we try again? Can we do this again? Um, that could be this energy, second chances. Wow. Okay, let's get some advice for you. Advice for Pisces, please. Advice for Pisces. Okay, what you have been through can only make you stronger. The worst is over. You have been pouring yourself into everything and everyone else. What about you? I think you're, you're coming to that realization that, um, you know, this, this has been a tough energy for you to realize. There's been, there's been a lot of fear and anxiety around 
um, what you've been through. You are a pillar of strength and capable of overcoming obstacles. Wow, a lot of recovery, a lot of recovery. Um, bottom of the deck, the relationship you are in is serving to teach you something very important. I feel like you have learned a lot. You have learned a lot. Um, where this goes, that will be interesting to see. Let me, let me see. I'm going to pull out the lighted pathway now. What's on your path, Pisces? <laughs> wow. Okay, let me look at let me look at what flew across the table. We have emotional withdrawal. I feel that this is the pulling away from another situation. Um this can also be dealing with um, a separation, if there was someone who's coming back. We have work through differences. Go for it. So, um, it sounds to me like this could be potentially two people having a second chance. Very interesting. And I don't know what what experience has occurred between the two of you. Maybe it could be, you know, there were infidelities. I mean, it's going to differ for all of you, but I, I'm almost feeling like there's a rebirth in love, whether this is someone coming back to you or this is just a chance to do love in a healthier way and making amends with the past. Okay, I'm going to leave it here. Now we're going to go into the extended. If you choose to follow me, the link is below. For those of you who part uh, ways with me here, I will see you next month. Thank you.